And today we're going to be talking about how to structure an upcoming assignment, um, a five paragraph essay. So I like to think about the format of a five paragraph essay like it's a sandwich. The top bun is the introduction, the bottom bun is the conclusion, and the meat, lettuce, and tomatoes in between are the three body paragraphs. And the most important part of your five paragraph essay is going to be a thesis statement. Um, a thesis statement is a sentence, one sentence, where you explore the core ideas, in your opinion, of the novels, or of the novel that you've read. Um, each thesis statement should have something called a tag in it, a title, author, and genre. It should be found at the end of the introduction paragraph, so it can be explained and looked at with quotes and summary in your body paragraphs. So right now, I'm going to ask each of you to write something that you would like to discuss or prove about where the red fern grows. If each of you are comfortable, um, I would like you all to read the thesis statement that you've written. Would anyone like to go first? I'll go first. Thank you, Riley. Um, the book Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls shows readers that even when dogs die, they leave people with happy memories and lessons. Very good. Thank you, Riley. Oh, go ahead, Keith. The novel Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls teaches kids to take care of pets and earn their own money. That is very true. And Judy? Um, this book is important to kids because Billy grows up and sees that pretty things can be found everywhere in nature. That is very true, and that's a really good thesis statement. It was just missing one thing. Um, can anyone tell me the one thing that Judy's thesis statement was missing? Yes. Um, she needs her tag. Yes, your title, author, and genre. Um, so, secondly, I want to talk to you about your usage of quotes and summary in the body paragraphs. So, a quote is something that comes directly from the text that you later cite for English class in MLA format. Do you know what MLA format is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, we're going to go through it in more detail on a different day. But MLA format is when you have something called a work cited page at the very end of your essay in which you cite the sources where you have gotten your quote from. Um, and a quote should have before and after it a summary of that quote. So in order to give you an idea of what I mean, I'm going to ask you each to write down one word about how you feel about this quote and what you might say to describe it in your body paragraphs. The quote is, I buried little Anne by the side of old Dan. I knew that was where she wanted to be. I also buried a part of my life along with my dogs. Um, who would like to be the scribe for those three words? I will. Thank you, Riley. When the words are completed, who would like to be the spokesperson? I'll do that. Oh, thank you, Judy. Go ahead. Okay. Um, here are the three words we came up with. Hopeful, sad, and important. Good. Okay. Um, out of curiosity, who had the word important? Keith did. Okay, Keith. And why did you say important for that quote? Because it shows how sad but smart and mature Billy is. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That was a little vague, but... <clears throat> That word was a little vague, but um, when you explained it to me like you can in your body paragraphs, I really understood what you were saying. Um, so the last part of today's lesson is uh, singing a song through that I have written about a five paragraph essay. So I put it to the tune of Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. Does everyone know that song? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So would you like to go through it as a call and response? I have it all written down on papers. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, what do I need? An, An introduction. introduction. How do you end that? With, With a thesis statement. statement. It's hard to think of. What, what comes after? after? Three paragraphs, paragraphs each, each with, with a topic, topic sentence. sentence. You took your time with the quotes and citations in our notes. notes. Wrapping it up is tricky, but, but nothing's, nothing's in our way. way. Hey, what comes next now? The, the conclusion. conclusion. Which we tie back to the, the thesis, thesis statement. statement. Yay, good job, everyone. Thank you.